Hello everyone and welcome to my review of Yuno's know, reality show. Now, um this was good. Um you know really knows how to kill a concept. I feel like this whole noir vibe really stuck to him. Like ever since that album, it feels like a second skin to him. Everything that has to do with you know, um, um, like a very, a darker sound, something a bit more like movie-esque, it just really just spelled, you know, and when I saw the announcement, right, reality show, and then it started putting out like the teasers, I was immediately sold, because I knew it was going to come and just obliterate, because if there's something it knows how to do, is what kill a concept it really embodies just the persona that he, he wants to for a specific album so i really love the vibe i love his voice oh my god we got so many high notes here like not that he has not been doing high notes but i feel like this one it's almost like he had a point to prove he was like i think you forgot i could blow hold on hold the mic let me go off that's the vibe that it gave me this entire album i was like yeah oh my god like this is a type of album you listen to and just it reminds you of why you fall in love with a specific artist and i just was reminded of how great he is and just how when it comes to his solo music it feels so him so natural and it's like he just uh breathed life into the music it was like in the studio and he just started you know freestyling and it was so good that he became the album that's what i think about every time i listen to his music because it is that good um there were some songs that took me a little while to get into um that would be spotlight and curtain those two I'm not gonna lie, like, at first, I did not like those two songs. But then, the more I listened to the album, and also listened to them, like, separately as their own thing, I started appreciating them more. And then, one day, because I like to do this a lot, like, one day I would just start playing stuff on shuffle, I just played on shuffle and the song came in and i was like oh my god what is this and i'm going to look and it's like spotlight and i was like oh my god how did i not get this song from the get-go and you know maybe i just needed to you know listen to it a bit more for me to get it i think that's why i rather reserve judgment when it comes to album and not just stick to like a first listen because my sentiments always change depending on like my experience with the specific album so overall it was like good in terms of quality in terms of sound but for me this is one of those albums where there is the song and then the rest like the rest of the songs are amazing and everything but there's this one song that is so good so strong that it like outshines the rest of the songs on the album and that song in this album was wannabe so um i'll find you Me, can't you hurt me? Mora to the pet, also not to the 
about how long he held that note like that's what i meant when i said that he came in with a vengeance and he had a point to prove and the vocals are insane and the song it's so strong that even though the rest of the songs on the album are good but all i could think about is wannabe you know it's a statement it grabs you from the get-go it does what a first song on an album is supposed to do but it really just never lets you go I was constantly in the set frame of Wannabe, even while listening to the rest of the song. And that's when I knew that it was the queen of this album. So let me know in the comments how you felt about this album, which song ended up your favorite. If you want more, check out TVSQ's dedicated playlist on the channel. There's all their discography as a group and as soloists as well.